Hey, Cardinal George Pell is accused again, helped to cover up for pedophile priests. But is it true? The ABC led that witch hunt against Cardinal George Pell that saw him serve 405 days in jail for child rapes he could not possibly have committed. Well, the High Court last month overturned his sentence, seven judges to zero. But today, the ABC and other media outlets had another chance of going for Pell, reporting previously sealed pages of the report of the Royal Commission of Child Sexual Abuse, pages about George Pell that had been withheld so, so he could get a fair trial, pages insisting that he knew about priests abusing children for decades and did nothing. In the evidence that I heard, there was no proof that Pell himself knew of priests abusing children and did nothing. This finding is merely the opinion of the Royal Commissioners, who chose not to believe Pell's strong denials. Now, I do believe that Pell was naive and did not, as a young priest 40 or 50 years ago, pick up on hints that now, knowing so much more as we do, we would think he perhaps should have. But I am struck by this fact, perspective. One of Ridsdale's victims in the area around Ballarat was the son of a police officer. Why didn't police charge Ridsdale? They were investigating him in 1975. Why didn't they charge him? And if all this foul sexual abuse was an open secret in the area at the time, where were the parents? Where were the journalists? Where were the community leaders? The academics? Where was the ABC? Why? Is Pell alone, just the young priest at the time, the man being scapegoated? 